Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Khan and I'm a software engineer at App Store. Today we're going to show you how to provision TLC to Elasticsearch cluster using QT. So Elasticsearch is a Kubernetes custom resource definition or CRD. It provides a declared configuration for Elasticsearch in a Kubernetes native way. So only need to describe the desired database configuration in an Elasticsearch object and the QT operator will create Kubernetes object in the desired state for it. So let's see what's an Elasticsearch cluster. An Elasticsearch cluster is a group of nodes with the same cluster name. It starts with a single node. A single node can form a single node Elasticsearch standalone cluster. Later, the load nodes can join and lead the cluster. And Elasticsearch will automatically distribute the data based on the current status throughout the nodes. Each of the nodes is assigned with a specific role such as master, ingest, and data. Each node can have one or multiple role based on the requirements. So in KubeDB, we are supporting two types of Elasticsearch clustering techniques. One is called combined cluster and the other one is called topology cluster. The combined cluster is a group of one or more Elasticsearch nodes where each node can perform as master, data, and ingest nodes simultaneously. On the other hand, a topology cluster is a group of Elasticsearch nodes where each node is assigned with a dedicated role such as master, data, and ingest. It has to be noted that there must be at least one master node, at least one data node, and one ingest node for deploying a topology cluster okay. so let's start with the common cluster uh, let's move on to our terminal so here you can see that we're using kubernetes version client version 1.23.4 and server version 1.22.7 and if we want to see we already have install kubedb as you can see the kubedb ports are running we have kubedb provisional port running here uh, which will help us to deploy and manage elasticsearch cluster if you want to install kubedb you can go to kubedb.com and there we have a complete manual for installing QDB using Helm chip or QML. Okay. Let's go to a sample OML for deploying yes, a standalone combined Elasticsearch cluster. So as with all other Kubernetes objects and Elasticsearch needs API version kind metadata and spec field. As you can see the API version is qdb.com slash b1 alpha 2. We have kind elastic search. The metadata section or instance name is set to be ES standalone. We are going to deploy this instance in demo namespace. Our version is expect 7.14.0. So as you can see that we're using expect auth plugin. Uh, we recommend to setting enable SSL to true if you want to uh, ensure TLS at your HTTP layer. As you can see, for the standalone cluster, the replica is set to be one. The storage type is set to be durable. Storage type is an optional field. It specifies the type of storage to use for the database. It can be either durable or ephemeral. The default value of this field is durable. If ephemeral is used, then QDB will create Elasticsearch database using empty directory volume. In this case, you don't have to specify the storage. As we are using durable, we're going to mention a storage class. Uh, we are on the node Kubernetes engine. Here we have a storage class named Linode block storage. We're going to use that. We are requesting one gigs of resources. Uh, at the termination policy, you can see that we have said do not terminate. You can set wipeout if you want to 
delete all the secrets and PVCs when you delete your cluster. There are other termination policies. You can take a look at our official documents. Okay, let's apply this one. As you have applied our YML, you can see that our EOS standalone has created has been created and it's in provisioning status. A stateful set has been created and it has created a pod and the pod is getting ready. So it has also created three services. The first one is ES standalone, which is a client service, uh, which we will be using to port forward and use our Elasticsearch cluster from our local machine. Uh, the second one is ES standalone master service. So this service is pointing to the master nodes. And finally, ES standalone port service, which is a discovery service which is being used to uh, form the cluster among the nodes. Okay, our pod is already running. Uh, as you can see, our instance will get a little time to get ready. Okay, we also have some secrets here, which has been created. As you can see, four TLS secrets have been created. One basic or type secret has been created. This is a standalone Elastic Cred. This contains the authentication credentials. So first we are going to get the credentials from the secret so that we can access our database. Okay. First we are going to get the username. As you can see it's elastic. We're going to also get the password from this credential secret. This the password. We're going to export the password and the username. Local system. Yes. Okay. We are going to copy this password from here paste it and export it okay. as you can see our instance is ready so now we can access it so using this client service we are going to port forward to a local machine and it's forwarding now we are going to check the health status of our database So as you can see, we're using the username and password and hitting our local host path to check the cluster health. Okay, as you can see our cluster name is ES standalone. Our status, cluster health is green. So number of nodes is one, number of data nodes is one, active primary shares are one, and Yes, our database has been deployed successfully. Now, let's insert some demo data into our Elasticsearch instance. So, we're going to do that. We're going to make some post requests. As you can see, we are creating a new index named products, and there we're going to insert this data. Name is QTV vendor app score description DB operator for Kubernetes. Let's insert it. As you can see from the response, it's successfully created. We're going to also insert another demo data. Let's see, it's in the same in this. And its name is schema manager vendor app score description field. You can see a tool for supporting multi channels in QTV. We're going to insert is as well. Okay, it's also successfully created. You can see now our total shares is two. Now let's check if 
this data has been inserted properly. We're going to make a get request to from the in this and check if it's there or not. Okay, yeah, as you can see in this products have two data one is one containing name give db vendor apps code the other containing name is QA manager vendor apps code so we have successfully inserted data into our elasticsearch cluster and we have and it's probably working as you can see so that's how you can provision Elasticsearch single node standalone combined cluster into Elasticsearch uh, into, into Kuban in a Kubernetes native way using KubeDB. So thanks for watching the video. In the next video we are going to watch how to deploy Elasticsearch multi node combined cluster and how to deploy Elasticsearch topology cluster. Thank you.